Life is meant to be discovered. It is your discovery that it has to culminate into your recovery. Every one of you must know that I've had one or two persons privileged ask me questions about, talk to me about some things that are working for you as a believer. I love the one who asks me as a Christian, what are the mysteries that you have found and that is working for you? Another one asks me, obviously, in my new level, as they talk to me about the mysteries or by the secret, tell me the secrets that you have, that you trade as a pastor. Praise God. This morning, I may not be able, I, I don't know the secrets, but I know some of the secrets. Because life is a mystery, you can become one. There are people who understand how their greatness comes. There are those who cannot tell how their greatness comes. Those are the category of people whom you hear, you ask them, how did this happen? And they will tell you it's by the grace of God. And Paul speaking, is it Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. In another occasion, a matter happened and he said, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our sight. When it is the Lord's doing, it is unexplainable. If God gives you a miracle, you can't talk about it in details. Because it's a mystery. And they met the young man and they began to confront him and the young man said all I know is that I met a man. And the man spat on the earth and put on my eyes and said I should go to River Saloa and wash. All I know is that once I was blind, now I can see. Miracles are not explainable. But miracles are real. So when I hear people trying to analyze the things of the kingdom with their educational perspective or their educational understanding or explain it by their human calculation, it breaks my heart. And then the men and women who are supposed to be in the spirit are even confused. Spiritual matters cannot be explained by a professor. That's why a man can have A1 in Bible study and yet does not know God. In BK, BK, is it BK? Bible knowledge in school. I want every one of you to know that the mysteries of the kingdom begins with an encounter. It begins with an encounter where you meet with Jesus and eat that to receive the free gift of the Holy Ghost which begin to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom that cannot be humanly explained. If you can still explain your prosperity, you are still poor. Oh, somebody. I've said it here before and I want to say it again. How do you explain that your enemies is five loaves and two fishes. Yet you are achieving goals in the capacity of feeding 5,000 men. And you have 12 baskets remaining in your reservoir. When you are subject to security interrogations, you have nothing to say. Because why? They can see your inflow. That you earn five loaves and two fishes. And you have investment in the capacity of 5,000 men. And you still have a reserve of 12 basket. How? Trying to explain God is to blow your fuse. 